This is not the experience I expected to be having when I started up Infinifactory. <laughs> this feels a little bit like um, jalopy. I've got a... I've got a... All, whoa! I've got an all-seeing eye pyramid hanging from my... What is going on? Oh, X Rogan's here. He says hello, second bearded guy. And uh, yeah, we beer, beards are sort of the rule, not the exception uh, at Undead Labs. We have a lot of beardy folks here. Hmm. So, Infinifactory, indeed. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, for those of you who uh, were not here yet. This is Matthew Bozarth. He's a uh, programmer at Undead Labs, and uh, I would love to tell you what he's working on, but we haven't announced any of it yet. And so have I been abducted by aliens? Is that is that the thing that's happening to me here? That, that's what just happened, yes. And now I'm in, I'm in a factory, apparently being, ah! I guess I'm wearing, I'm wearing something with a, with a dot in the face. Nope. Nope. Okay, so if I if I were playing the game in Spanish, would it have stopped early? I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, build and remove blocks. Okay, so like, oh, hello. Can I can I jump? So I can like. So I can do something like that. All right. I can reach pretty far. I was not, ex I expected this to be kind of like a top down sort of uh, thing. I was not expecting to be in this world. Yeah. No, it's interesting that it's a puzzle game. So I'm not planning on telling you a lot about what to do. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of here for the experience. <laughs> of like, of like watching somebody go through it, not knowing what's going on. Yeah, it's like, watching someone play portal like i'm not gonna tell you put the portal over here put the portal over there oh use jetpack i just noticed that okay so jetpack and wait oh oh control is what brings me down okay gotcha and then play failure log in control this is my dream there's a story Can't go back. I'd like to wake up now. Oh, that wasn't happening. Okay, sorry. I'm hearing her talk and hearing oh, weird God. things. What? If you had, that? by the way, I for, should have mentioned if you have headphones, you actually can plug in here, but uh, you don't have any on you. If you wanted to run and get some, you could. Or I could just tell you that I'm hearing a very oh, we'll desperate that. sounding woman. Probably a decent amount of dialogue and stuff early on. Okay. Right yeah, sorry I didn't think of that earlier. So R is start and stop factory. R, okay, so block comes in here and gets teleported away. Okay, and I can stop it by hitting R again. Okay, cool. So how many do I need? Do I need to just do a certain number of these before I go? And then let's see here, F goes faster. Okay, I just had to experiment with the controls enough. So X Rogan just called this portal meets Minecraft. Um, I wouldn't call it portal exactly, but it does it does seem to meet Minecraft. Okay, so I can add conveyors and then start it. Yay, success! Oh, this number's going down. Okay, I have to get a certain number in there. I didn't catch that before. There we go. All right. Rotate blocks with Q and E. All right, so we've got a conveyor. Put, oh, wait, uh, wait. There we go. Oh, so it sticks to whatever I rotated the last one to. It sticks to. So, do do. do. 
do 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 Got to get as much rotation practice as I can. Oh wait, ah, uh, oh, oh, no, no, no! There, let's try that. Oh wait, no, no, it's still going the wrong way. Uh, what am I, what am I doing? Okay, turn around, turn around that way. There we go. And then, that's correct, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. Okay. Okay. Oh, x organ says, yeah, it is like Portal Insist. You're sort of stuck in an environment against your will and are trying to find a way to get out. Uh, and it sort of seems to be controlled by some malevolent AI. You are correct. This is like Portal in those ways. Arcanus is like, look, there's arrows. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. And then, wait, what? I have a choice? Oh, no, I don't have a choice? I don't know. What? Well. You made the correct choice. I made, oh, so either I made the correct choice or um, they chose me. Like, did they decide to send me through this door because I succeeded at the previous puzzles? <laughs> like, if I'd just been hopeless, they would have just sent me out the door. Uh, um. Hello, sir. Uh. Oh. Some kind of tribunal? What is happening? Uh. Oh, there's like. What is happening? I can't read that. It actually, kind of reminds me a little bit of Fez's script. So this very important dude is coming to tell me something, to inaugurate me as official human factory maker. <laughs> what the crap is happening? <laughs> All right. All right, cool. What was the point of giving me that translator device or whatever? <laughs> of choosing my language. If I'm just gonna listen to this guy blather in his monster tongue. Whoa, whoa. X Rogan just dubbed that other guy El Presidente. Oh yes! Food pellets! They gave you some kibble. That's amazing, I love it. I've always wanted to like Go to a grocery store and like see a, ba a bag of human food with a big smiling human on the front and like a bowl of the food in front of them. Well, I guess some cereals like, look like, like that. Like a bowl with like a spoon, just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so was this what I already did, or is this one I need to do? You need to do it. Okay. So create. So, yeah. So here's all the people that have. Oh okay. Done. Oh yeah. So these are. Oh, so cycles is how quickly the thing solves the problem footprint is how many pieces you needed to do it and or maybe footprint is oh, vertical places oh gotcha blocks is actual blocks you use gotcha okay so like if you stack it up the footprint is low yeah okay gotcha and so yeah so these are some people that i know okay and then, so so raiden uni uh is the one that i'm competing with right now because yeah. <laughs> and you're actually you're at the top of all of these you mean this is uh yeah, the, I actually saw this friend at PAX just, just recently. And that guy I just uh, gave a game to. Anyway, so create new solution? Is that what I hit it? want to hit? Okay, so I'm given a setup. I gotta get 10 thingies into here. And I gotta get 10 into there. And 10 into there. And I've got crap dropping out of 10 holes. Do I wanna like minimize waste? Like do I want these to take about the same amount of time? To get there, I guess I'll have to discover that. Okay, so, well, I want to drop the simplest. Wait, I would just worry about solving it for now. 
Simplest then you solution. Can come back and redo it if you want. Simplest solution is to send each. No, no. It's to send each one directly to its target. Nope. Those arrows on the side are very helpful. And there, 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 and there. Uh, wait, oh, I just hit Z. I guess that undoes stuff. There we go. Well, let's see how this does. Oh, I've got the wrong block to the wrong place. Okay. So we've got this kind of block coming out here. Okay, well, let's reset the whole thing. So this block needs to go there. That block needs to go here. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. And that, but this one going straight across, that is correct. So, all right. So to get this one over there, I would probably want to use that space. Can I go out any further? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I can go out over the terrain, then what I probably want to do is delete that, delete that. Uh, go out here. So if you want a trick for placing a bunch straight in a line, go stand over here. I go stand over there? Yeah. Just drop down. And now just click on the front face of that. The front face of this? Mm -hmm. And so you can also drag, but yeah. But if you're trying to bring a bunch towards you, you can just click, 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 and it'll just put it on the front Oh, base. oh, on the front end. Oh, that, make, that makes sense. Yeah. So I can be like, click, 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 click. And that is way quicker. Yeah, yeah you don't true. have to click on the bottom. And, but you okay. can also click and drag. All right, so that's going to make it there. And then because this one f drops out, I can send it this way. And you'll actually have to here, because it won't. Yeah. There we go. It's gonna fall. I like it sort of depicts where things are gonna go. It's just gonna drop right off the end. Someday I'll get a hang of which of those buttons I need to press. Okay, I think this works now? Let's try. So eventually when I come back to redo this, will I be able to redo it with tools that I've unlocked later? Or will I always be limited to the set of tools I have here? No, you can use the tools later. All right, so I, so I got 69 as my cycle score, 75 and 62, and which is way beyond uh, where you guys, uh, where my friends have gotten it. So I assume that means, yeah, that if I came back here, I can't think of a better way to do it with the few tools I have now. I can't go up. Oh, wait, no, I can go up. Oh, wait a minute. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Yeah, Hold so on. Let's not move on yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I can't. I can do better than this. Wait, is there a better way to just clear everything? Yeah, maybe you can escape. Reset solution, reset solution. Okay, okay. So, now that I am just realizing that it's actually not going to be hard for me to... Yeah, to go over things. I won't have to do quite as circuitous a route. I can... Um, okay, so, so I still need this one to go over there, but a quicker way would be to just send it forward a little bit. Oh, wait a minute, but I need it to be higher. Now, can I undermine it and have it float? Looks like I can. Nope, that's not a smart plan. I always pick the wrong direction to rotate it first for some reason. 
All right. Then, wait a minute, where are we? Yeah. And do, 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 do. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but that's fine. I can just. There. That'll work. And then that one will go there. And then this one. Oh, it's, oh, it's already got an upstairs bit right there. So and that's the one I want to bring over uh, here. Always the wrong direction first. Always. That will forever be the case. How far over am I going? Too past? Wait, is that too many? That's too many. All right. Let's see if this goes better. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I think that means I need to attach it to something. <laughs> uh, I like discovering it this way. So if I attach it there, maybe that will work? It seems like the top one didn't have a problem. Um, so, so what happens if you just put one underneath? Yeah, I, I imagine it might just drag it over, right? I'll try it. But let's 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 see what happens here. Okay, that went way better. Way better. Oh yeah, I am not paying any attention to the chat. Let's see here. We done. Let's see. Okay, so now. I'm at 53, so like I still am not quite. I'm not quite at your level, uh, but I've beaten or matched all of my other friends on my list. So, so did you come back with some additional tools or something like I that? I don't or, remember. Or did it's you just? A, it's been a while since I played this. Oh, gotcha. There's some where no, you just if you're clever, it's faster. Interesting. Like there's certain things you learn that this is how you do it, and it ends up being yeah. faster. I don't. The biggest oh, gains oh, you made oh. were, was, was <clears throat> on cycle score. Here's the. Here's the thing. Uh -huh. uh, change. Go to play again. Oh, input rate. Up the input rate. How do I? Click that once. Wait. You, you hit escape. So. I did. So, but I can't. Oh, oh, these buttons. Okay, I didn't see. Okay, so brackets. All right. So now run it. Oh no, that is not. Okay, this is the R key. Oh, so they're closer together now. It doesn't wait as many cycles. You can always hold down oh. F and it'll go fast. Okay. So now I'm up with you, just about. Like, I think there's a couple of... So on cycles, I've got you now. Yeah, so if you hit play again... Then footprint and block. You had one less block than I had. Somewhere. So can you up the input rate more? Uh... Max. It is now at max. So, so yeah, okay, that didn't so get any better. Uh, okay, so I wonder where you had one less block, though. That's oh, we, oh yeah, you somehow did not have this block. Probably. Yeah, I probably didn't have that one. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, but I, I wonder don't know what I would have. I wonder had. how you Maybe got I away. Came back. Without doing that. Oh, that is I mostly didn't care about the blocks of the footprint. I mostly focused on cycles, cycles. when I was playing. It's a very programmery thing. That was the thing my friends and I competed on was, <laughs> hey, I beat yours by three cycles. You did what? Yeah. Yeah, so Arcanus, that, that, that list that you're looking at, that was basically a comparison of me to my friends. Uh, seeing who... So there are might be cases where I want these things to like go past each other and stuff, where I want to leave them wide, leave the gaps between them wide or something. Or I'm trying to think of a why, why would not just always max out the input rate. But I guess we'll discover it's that hard. as we go. Okay, so that was a puzzle. Oh, so I've unlocked more here. Block, conveyor, puzzle. Okay, so it's just telling me stuff about the conveyor. And you unlocked new blocks. They are powered by deleted and should not be deleted under any circumstances. What? <laughs> I don't even understand what that means. You're their prisoner. They got a, they got a mask <laughs> out the the information. <laughs> wow. So look at this. Cycles 44 compared to the 71s from these guys. Um, 
Yeah, right. no, I definitely went back and like, after I figured out all the tricks, <laughs> went back and optimized the shit out of everything. This guy's like, what? Hmm, I can snap things together. If I, if I decide to or something, I'm not quite sure what that means. Let's find out. Okay, so this is a destination for two different kinds of blocks. That is one of them. So the dark one is there, the light one is there, and hmm. Oh, view block list shift. Okay. Oh, I've got platforms now. Yeah, you can actually drag them onto it. An area slated welder. I don't even. So they'll like stick them together or something, or that's what this little thing is telling you. Okay, so like if I use somehow I can use this welder thing to stick two blocks together. Well, are these like are so these, these product are the, blocks? These are the input blocks. And yeah. If they sit next to welders, they get welded together. Oh. So. I can weld them together first and then send them yep. here? Yeah. If you don't weld them and just send them there, it'll fail because they're not welded together. Oh, and so this is specifically asking for welded together. Yeah. Ah, okay. So what I probably want then is... Nope. Like that. I'll probably need to be timing these things, so... Oh, I didn't actually add the conveyor to my list. Okay, so if I... Always the wrong direction first. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. Let's make sure this is the same the other way. And there's ways of handling it if they're not. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so potentially this could work. Uh, I keep expecting to zoom in with the uh, mouse wheel, which does not do that. That changes my tool. Okay, let's try that. So it seems that they're just slightly off, but they still kind of work. What do you mean? Oh, maybe not. No, I think I was just reading something wrong. Never mind. It's it's on it's linked on a cycle, so they're like, never gonna be just like they're gonna be fractionally off. They might be a lot off, but they're not gonna be. They'll be a whole off. cycle off. Oh, Arcana saw a footprint optimization, probably probably from the previous uh, puzzle because I uh, am not paying attention to the chat like I should. Um, so Heike says he saw this game at PAX last year. So okay, so let's see how did I do. So I can probably up the cycles to try to catch up with you. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it was interesting. So yeah, so Visith, my friend Visith maximized the block score for this, and my friend the Dutch maximized the footprint score, but you maximized the cycle score. Uh, so let's, okay, so we can definitely, oh, the input rate. It, it depends on the puzzle, what you can make the input rate. I imagine having them stack up on each other would be a risk of when they're falling, huh? You'll well, actually not. see it doesn't push the next one out oh. until the previous one has moved out of the way. Oh, you're right, you're right. So if you don't let it, and the fall has to take a whole cycle, and so if they don't fall, you can actually have them come out as one solid chain. So how did my friend Visith use s s six fewer blocks than me? What happens if you delete half of these? Oh! Oh! Oh yeah. Yeah, that's probably the six. And you probably don't need that one right there. Well, it has to... Let's see if I need this. It might need that for the welding, but we'll... Well, no, let's see. Let's see. Nice. 
Ah! Take that, Kelly! Ha ha ha! I'm at 27. Um, it's, this is the, how many people across the world got so in that see, slot. Like, most people get it in this amount. Oh yeah, and then, then and then a lot of people get it here, and it really and nobody gets in between. Either you figured this out or you didn't. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it's, it's very different between different puzzles, and it's cool. Yeah, and it seems like like the difference between my twenty seven and his twenty and the other thirty fours is just is it, is too small to matter to the to the graph. I think. It, yeah. All right. So now I've learned about platform blocks, welder blocks. Now we've got a new thing, new puzzle. So this is saying, what does this say? This will follow the conveyor belt, and then this, what, I don't know what's going on. Um, do I have a new block type? I don't. Oh, it'll like wait on a, oh, it'll push them. I get it. So if they'll wait on a platform until they're pushed by the previous block. And there might be a reason why I would want to do that on purpose. So let's see. Yeah, I don't know what the... Well, there's a dead body. Um, so he probably has a story for you if you want. Yeah, probably, yeah, so... Yeah, Arcanus, everything about this game is computery. Like, it's it's programming. It's very fun and it's very cool, but at the end of the day, you're writing a program. So, okay, so, oh, I get what the problem is. These things need to be in front of a welder in order to... Three of them simultaneously need to be in front of a welder, but they're coming out of one hole. So I can't time it the way I did the other ones. I have to actually stack them up on a platform before letting them move on. So, well, this is probably pretty straightforward. Let, okay, so I'll need that. I'll probably need three spots on a platform. I might not need three spots on a platform. I might just need two to weld three together after two are already waiting. Maybe, uh, maybe that'll, but yeah, so yeah, so after the third one pushes it over, then it'll start accelerating again and get away from the other ones. Uh, yeah, that's probably what we need. So let, let's see if I'm right about that. And then of course we need the actual welder, um, which, let's see here. So the first one lands here. The second one shows up, welds to it, and gets pushed over. The third one shows up, welds to it, and gets pushed over and then caught there and taken away. Yeah, so I want the welding to happen here. Um, so this is a vertical welder, right? So if I, uh, it's not a great play to, place to attach that. I'm just wondering, well, let's see how this works. Put these two there. Nope. That I don't even know why I did that. Um, <laughs> At least you unrotated it. Yeah, because that was really important. Okay, let's see if this does what I want. Blocks come down. Weld, weld and taken away. Weld, weld and taken away. Oh, whoop! I, I meant to hit F. Ah, F, 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 F. Choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. Okay, so 103 cycles. Well, I can probably fix that a bit. Uh, seven, oh, Pivo! What did Pivo do with his footprint? Oh, I know what he did. Uh, and then, okay, we're I'm kind of even with, yeah, block score. Okay, let's. I don't need two of these, do I? Yeah, so uh, that affects your block score. It does not affect your footprint. Because top down, yeah. looks the same. Okay, gotcha. Um, and I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, and of course I wanted to up the input rate. So it's like a laser fight's going on here. All right, so I'm at nine here. Oh, that's right. So it wouldn't affect footprint because right. Okay. Hmm. And oh, I know what I could do to fix my footprint. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this game, That's right? Amazing. Yeah, this is great. Okay, so if I do the welding further back, then I don't need as many little delays. So yeah, so let's 
let's put our platform here. And our welder there and there. And then we need to be able to grab it. But once we go, that should work, right? Let's see if that works. <laughs> oh, oh wait, footprint's the same. Footprint takes into account every tile that gets used at any point. So even if you Oh, including footprint. passing over it? Yeah. Oh man, but my block score! Holy crap, my block score! I feel very victorious, but man, you somehow got the cycles to happen. Holy crap! A little bit of a trick. Okay. Do you remember what it was? Yeah. Can, do you want to do you want to do you want to reveal your secrets? So, start it again and look at these as they come out. Okay. So, when we reduce the input rate? No. No, you want the input rate high. Okay. So. See, see how it waits for it to fall before the next one comes out? Yeah. So, stop it. Okay. And put a couple gray blocks just right there. Oh, okay. Um, gray blocks. Like that? Yeah. Oh, they come out pre-welded? No, not pre-welded. Not pre-welded, but, pre no but next to each other, yeah. So you could weld them when they come out in threes and then, and then accelerate them away as soon as they are welded by having a... So, in, so you're wasting a cycle every time one comes out. You could instead waste a cycle every three because you need to let gotcha. them drop. Okay, and yeah. And so instead of letting every single one drop, you let all three of them drop. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. So if I... So you can actually um, save some footprint here, if you're clever. Oh, yes. Oh, I know exactly what you're saying, I think. I think that you're saying that I should be ah, attaching these here. Yeah. So it'll weld two together, then when a third one comes in, it'll weld them, and then accelerate that third one away, drop it down, and it'll drop down as three. So, keep my block score low by... Well, see, you need one At there, least there. Right. So put one all the way... I think that might work. Yeah. And you probably need one more. Nope. <laughs> okay, so let's do a slightly lower input rate. No, I mean, you want the input rate high. Or maybe it's like this, I don't remember. Well, let's, let's, let's see how it goes. Let's uh, see how this rates me. Okay, yeah, so I hit Visif's level, not yours. I've got the best footprint score and the best block score now. Uh, though, though I'm with a lot of people on blocks. Well, no, actually, this block score comprises a lot of levels. It's not crazy precise. Yeah, I wish it was more precise because a lot of times that's kind of yeah, I want to like know whole, that, like, right? Sixty percent you don't really care about. Yeah, yeah. Who cares what people did here? I want to see like the fine distinctions here. So, man. So, how did you handle? Did you just stretch it out with just one block more or something to like? Accelerate them away before they from the accelerate them away from the other ones before they. Man, maybe if you just dropped it down by one. I think I remembered what I did. Well, you know what? Maybe we should just let you have the glory for this. And uh, mysteriously, Matthew did beat this. What happens if you rotate this one ninety degrees? Oh, that. Well, that's not what happens. Um, you mean like that? Yeah. Run it. See what happens. Oh, okay. Oh, I do I should I run it at the higher rate? Let, let, let me run it at the higher input rate and see if that makes a difference. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And that's why you did not optimize footprint and block and block score because that because that thing would would mess with it. So let's let's see how this goes. So now we have it drop off here. And then we just need every third one. And then when it gets here, we do that. Uh, 
I love unrealistic physics. <laughs> Where it's like, it falls at a regular rate and stays together no matter how it's supported. There we- oh! Ah! What did- what did you do? I don't remember. <laughs> well, you- you take the- you, you take the- the gold prize or whatever for that. And, you can uh, go back and, and work on this later tonight. But, you can but, stay up until four trying to figure out how what to the crap you did. But, uh. <laughs> but yeah, but no, but this this feels but still we're we're in a, a realm here where uh, yeah, I don't know. It's so now at fifty six, previous best was seventy four. So I'm reduced by that much. Very few people ever get here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, you go ahead and have this because you got this plus this plus this. And I feel I feel pretty good about having it a little slower than you here, but having this be low. So I think I think we both came up with good solutions. Yeah. And if I take credit for this one, despite the fact you told me how to do it. Uh, okay. So next puzzle. I'm really into this game. I did not expect to be as into this game as I as, as I am. This game is super good. <laughs> oh, hey, my sister just got a job. Wait, that means she can't babysit for me as much. Oh crap! Ah, crap! No. Um. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I play games. Yeah, okay, I get it, thank you. Okay, so we have two things dropping out, and we want them on top of each other. But, getting that timed properly is, so, so okay, so just what happens right now? Okay, so I could just have them fall naturally, like this. And that, okay, and that will work. I can just weld them together when they land and accelerate them off. Let's see how that works and see how badly that compares with other people's solutions. That, yes, that's what I want to do. Um, uh, so it's got to wait. Wait, but it has to wait there until both are present before I send it off. Yeah, yeah, it's the hard part. I thought it was going to be easy. Yeah, no, 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 that is not easy. And there isn't, I don't have like any kind of new block here. I can't like rotate them once they're already welded side by side or something. All right. So. If I just, okay, if I can make one weight off to the side here on a platform This one will still... But once it's on that platform, how does it get off? I think it... See, if... Yeah, I could let the next one push it if I knew there was going to be enough time for this one to land on it first. But I don't... I don't think that that's the case. Oh, yeah, um, that might be true. But let's... Let's, let's try that just to see <clears throat> what happens. So that one lands there. Until, yeah, let's just see what happens. <laughs> um, it goes uh, down like that. And that one lands on it before the next one. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, we should... Okay, let's get some welders going. Uh, er, Jetpack. Welders. Okay, so that will weld them together. Then we will have a root to take them off this way. I think that works. <laughs> I like the little set of rules they put together. Like, there's so many different ways that they could make me have to adhere to these crazy rules. Okay, so obviously that's inadequate. Um, though I'm betting that, you know, upping the rate would probably help a lot, but. Upping the rate could cause other problems. <laughs> right now, you've tied your functionality <laughs> to the rate. Yeah, which exactly. Is a problem that definitely run into. And okay, so these guys, these guys have done one fewer block than me, which is interesting. Um, and but my footprint's the same as everybody else. So the block they're missing is oh whatever. <laughs> Maybe they had a completely different solution. Okay, so. I wonder how much higher the rate can go before I start having problems. 
so here's okay so it always still has to wait till it lands and so by the time the black one lands I think the white one will always be yeah, so you're ahead good. of it yeah okay so I might actually be fine crank it up faster yeah let's let's all the way up to max I'm sure this will be fine oh no <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And I can't even send in one one thing. Okay, so that, that no. That's that's a disaster. But what if your black ones go do something else for a while? Yeah, yeah, and sort of waste some time. I, I thought that might be what I needed, but that that would definitely tank my uh my blocks right. go. Or you, you just reduce the input rate to where it works. Cause this is way higher than what you started with, right? So uh yeah, yeah, yeah. And what if you make it like four? Let's see. No, I think no, I think that first level was. Oh, that was one too many. Okay, so let's. So input rate of three. This is what F is for, so you can just like. Oh yeah, yeah. Through. Okay, so this is the input rate, where it just barely works. Yeah. So what's your time on this one? 87, so I'm only, you know, just a little more than doubling yours. <laughs> okay, so if I wanted them to go faster and I just wanted to, uh, oops, that's not what I meant to do, uh, to have these guys screw around a little bit. Well, you need it, that one to go that way so it'll push it off, right? Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Okay, so what I really need is what do I need? Um, what I really need is this. No. What I really need is this with that. Nope. With that. And then this, that, that, and that. Okay, that works. Let me, uh, max. You definitely learned that, like, building for the low speed. Oh, oh, almost, almost, almost. Like, once you're trying to optimize for speed, you realize crank it to max and just design the whole thing that way. Yeah. Try <laughs> solutions that won't work at a higher speed. Ah, no. Okay. <laughs> Most efficient factory except damn it! Damn it, Matthew! <laughs> I, have, what? I have no idea. What did you do? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh but, nah. Maybe you built your whole thing just slightly higher or something, so it caught it earlier. And you didn't have to screw around with the black one as long. Maybe uh I don't know, let me, maybe. Let, let, let me I have I have I have to try it again. <laughs> I have to try it one more time. Okay, so So if you want to move the whole thing. Yeah. Go to the selection oh, block. Oh, the selection block. Right, and I can put that here. Okay, so now then I what? Carve out a... Oh, yeah. Like, like that. And then, what? Oh. So it can't, it can only go that high here. At least the bottom of it can. Oh yeah, I don't want to move the bottom of it. Well, let's move the whole thing up. And then, how do I turn off the area? There it is. So I don't need these to be there. What I need is these to be here. And then this will thing. I don't know if it necessarily needs to screw around as long as it did. It's just waiting for the. I don't think it changes. Uh, let well let's let's see. Oh right, I didn't attach it. Okay. Uh, so let's grab that. No. One. There we go. Um, there. Drop that. Oh, yeah, you're right, it doesn't change. And this might not have... Oh, ah! I keep hitting R instead of F. I think the difference is... 
I'm starting to just lose them. I think the difference is you have to wait for the second one to push the first one and oh. the third one to push the second one. I think I just timed it so that they came in at the same time. And so oh. I don't have to wait. I think that's the difference. Right? Like that would save you one cycle. Yeah. So let, okay. Now, once, once I hear the answer, I have to try it. So, okay, let's just see how badly this goes. Okay, now, it doesn't go. It doesn't go badly. I'm still at 43. Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. Okay, let's see here. I got five more minutes, but we're gonna try one more puzzle. All right, we gotta finish this and then get to the performance review. Oh, there's a performance review? Yeah. <laughs> nice, okay, so. I have to, oh, what the crap, really? Okay, ah, uh, might take me more than five minutes. Um, so I'm gonna get that shape. I'm gonna weld two of these together, but then have a third one. Oh, what the crap. So there's another input over there. Oh, there is? You turn right. Turn right? Oh, oh, over there. Oh, okay, well, that doesn't seem as bad now. So if I just send this over here, what is the chat saying? I'm paying way too much attention to this. Let's see here. Oh, hey, TH Pion said they had a bad evening, but we made him happy again by playing this awesome game. So that's the kudos to the game, really, uh, for being able to make people happy this way. Um, this guy's complaining that we had trouble with the tutorial. I think the whole game, it's a puzzle game. Like, the whole thing is a tutorial. Like, the whole <laughs> game is just teaching you how to solve it. Yeah, yeah, I know, exactly. <clears throat> I'm, I am not ashamed of having trouble with puzzle games. That's, that's you know, that's how it works. Okay, so it needs to be there. And then... Let's see. So then I need to be welding these guys together. Uh, I could just... Then I need to push them off. Sorry, I'm just thinking about how to get these guys welded. This is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> This is definitely like every, for the first like 10 levels or so, every new thing is like you wrap your head around, oh, that's how I do that. And then you use that same pattern over and over. Okay, so what I probably need to do is move one of these next to the other one. That's when they get welded. And this, and like, like say I bring the black one over to the white one. The black one is the one that ends up on a conveyor belt that moves the white one over. So if the, if this is here, Actually, just go there. Um, so the white one waits here. And then, and we will worry about how to deal with the fact there's multiple white ones coming in. Um, and then a black one comes in. Oops. Nope. And it's ready to accelerate. And. We've got a welder above them. So as soon as a black one comes in, they're welded together and shipped off together uh, using this one. And then as soon as they reach this point, that's when they needed to be need to be welded to this guy. And so we need to have trying to think how to suspend the welders above it again. So the welders here and here, weld those together. And then that, then I guess we just continue with that same conveyor belt, bring that whole assembly off the edge. Ah, nope. And into there. Uh, let's see how it goes. Drops that. Zap. Oh, nope. So that works, but not for the first one. 
Well, so you can use the same approach. You just need to swap which one comes first, right? Like you're waiting on this one. You need to wait on the other one. But see how here you yeah. wait for the black one to pick it up. Yeah. Here you need to wait on that one to pick it up. Oh, that's true. So, so oh, oh, so this one needs to have that. Right. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, your approach. Is totally the correct approach. Yeah. Okay. That. But that that makes sense. So now it's this one. That when it arrives, and so we're waiting on, so we bring it up to this point, and it sits there until this one arrives and gets welded to it and drags it on. I just love how these, simple, these little procedural things are just, it's just geometry, right? It's like, I solve all this stuff by which cubes I'm placing where, not by like saying, I'm not setting a number or a schedule or like, I'm not doing any what feels like programming. Mm -hmm. I'm just placing stuff and I place it in a different, like the whole thing is controlled by one set of tools, which is awesome. Okay, so. Which one was the Turing test? I don't what? remember which one that is. He said he just finished playing the Turing, uh, the Turing test. test. Oh yeah, I think that's a new, it's like a, I think it's one of like a walking simulator oh, game? style game. Yeah, there's a game called oh, the Turing I was test. Was like a oh, a puzzle, puzzle called that. Called Turing test. Yeah, no, I mean, I haven't played the the, the Turing test. I don't know anything about it. Uh, it's it's like it's like twenty bucks or something. So I was kind of like nervous to, to so take the plunge. Crank up your speed. I don't know that we oh, yeah. spent a lot of time optimizing this one. The, yeah, this one. Do the performance review, but I'm pretty close to that. Yeah, let's. Just wondering. What yeah, happens. how how bad can this get? Right. Let's yeah, crank it up all the way. Because you're waiting, like you're assuming they come at the right rate, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I set, it sends some on <laughs> that it's not ready for, it's but, uh, okay, oh, I keep hitting R, okay, so, but if I back off from that a little bit, let's see, almost, almost, okay, so back off one more step, oh no, whoa, I'm getting, nope, it's still not, still not enough. That's interesting though, that there's like a, well, no, no, stop that, R. Oh, just barely, yeah. So this is, my setup just barely works at this speed. Which is still very, so I would have to change it. I, I'd have to introduce delays and things like that probably yeah, you, to. You designed your solution to work assuming you have delays. And so you'd have to design your solution assuming you don't have delays. Yeah, so, so I'd have to start, it up crank it up to start. And then design it, which yeah. is a whole new set of problems. <laughs> well, that is cool. Okay, so continue to sell. And now, performance review. How did I do, guys? Hey, guys! How'd I do? Oh, yeah, no, I see that. Yeah. Oh, I got, a, I got a trophy. Kangaroo Kickers 09. <laughs> they just found a trophy on Earth and just gave it to me. They're like, this is what humans like. <laughs> Isn't that the best thing? That, I love this game. Oh, we got a kibble. Num, 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 num. Num, 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 num. Num, 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 num. Well, I am really happy that I had this experience, Matthew. This Thank game, you. It's very surprising <laughs> that this game has a story. He, and the, yeah, and right? The story is surprisingly awesome. <laughs> go and listen to all the people complaining about it or talking about all the all the dead people that left voice recordings. Oh, that right, which I, I ignored a little bit because I didn't want to spend the, the time on that. I want us to be able to continue talking. But, yeah, yeah that's... Uh, so, okay, I'm really impressed with this game. Like you said, it's like... This could have just been a simple little puzzle game, but having it be a world that I'm living in where I'm being like abused in this hilarious way, just adds this whole layer to it that just makes the entire thing more interesting. Yeah, I just love that they're like, I don't know, it's a soccer trophy. Humans <laughs> like soccer trophies, right? We'll just give them one of those. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And does this room just fill up with trophies eventually? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's like nowhere to put them. It's just, hey, yay, I've got a shiny thing. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, we're out of time, so thank you, for sh thank you for getting me to get this game, Matthew. I really, uh, I had a great time, and I'm probably going to come back and play it a little bit more. Maybe or maybe not on Twitch, we'll see, yeah, but... Uh, let me know if you ever beat any of my if you scores. Any of your scores yeah. <laughs> or if you're absolutely <laughs> confounded by something and want to know how the hell I did it. Okay, These, yeah. the, the puzzles get crazy complex. You build 
huge elaborate things. There's also an interesting curve to the story. Right now you're building like one blocks and two blocks and you know, you build like a car <laughs> or whatever. And then you build, you're like, that looks like a missile. <laughs> that looks like a tank. <laughs> Am I building military weapons? <laughs> Probably to attack my own people? Yeah. Uh, wow. Cool. Well, thank you. And thank you all for being here. Um, yeah.